Hey everybody, it's Ed. All right, let's go back in time. Imagine if you will, the year, 1980. 1980, you're walking in a record store. I don't know, maybe TSS, maybe Tower Records, maybe, oh God, just a number of places. Record World, Sam Goody, J and no, no, I don't know if that was around back then. All right, but you, you get the point. Walk into a record store and you come across this. You're like, what's that? And you see, it's a nice big box set. It says Elvis, Aaron Presley. Eight LPs. Bit of heft to it. And they call it Elvis Aaron Presley, 1955, 1980, 25 anniversary, limited edition. Okay. So there's a little bit of confusion. Uh, so basically what they're commemorating or celebrating here is 25th anniversary that Elvis had signed with RCA. And had he been alive in 1980, it would have been 25 years at that point. Signed his contract in 1955, released his first uh, you know, a single in January of 1956. So that's where a lot of people, I think, have the confusion. 1956 was the first single with RCA. How could this be 25 years? But they're going by the time that he signed his contract to record for RCA. So here we have the 8LP box set that was released to commemorate. And, and the thing that's really, really great about this box set is not the fact that it, you know, was a limited edition numbered collectible. No, hasn't. Nope. Absolutely not. The thing that was great about this box set, it was the first of many things. And I'll try and get in a little bit more detail as, as we go through it, okay? Because I'm going to show you the insides. I'm going to show you what each album looks like. Uh, I'll show you the label on probably the first one only because that's really all you'll need to see. Cause from there, they're pretty much all the same. Um, but this was, a, in my opinion, a well, well done package. This is the first record. Now, first record, it had uh, the first time that I'm aware of that they released... Four songs of Elvis in 1956 at the New Frontier Hotel, which happened to be uh, an engagement from April 24th through May 6th, 1956. So they uh, did Heartbreak Hotel, Long, Ta uh, Long Tall Sally, Blue Suede Shoes, and Money Honey. Um, and then the second side has what they call an Elvis monologue. All right. And let me show you the label. Put them. Uh, wait, this one. All right, you know what? All right, so this is the label, and basically, I'm going to show you something in a second. If it hasn't shown up already, or if you haven't caught it, I'm going to do my best to show you. Hopefully, I can. Um, in the indentation, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to try and show you. Right there, it has Elvis's autographed etch in there. So hopefully you can see that. It's on the reflection. <laughs> it's like the mirror image. All right, but um, yeah, trying to get it so you'll be able to see it clearly. Hopefully you do. All right, but yeah, that, that's pretty cool. So uh, it actually has an etch of Elvis's signature on the dead wax of each of these albums. All right, so that's the only one I'm going to show you, the actual label. All right, uh, this is record two. All right, and this one has an early benefit performance. This is also another first. This is the first time that RCA re officially released the this benefit performance on the USS Arizona Memorial Benefit Concert, Honolulu, Hawaii, March 25th, 1961. It says in the block area Pearl Harbor. And yeah, this was initially unreleased at the time. So this was such a great concert. The problem is um, some of the quality isn't so great and there's some cuts and edits here and there. I guess that, you know, the, the, they had a, you know, they, they gave us what they could, the best that they could at that time. And you know what, for what it is, I was very happy with this, still am. I know they have released it since, uh, and got to be honest with you, I never really listened to it all the way through on the newer releases to see if it was any improvement from this one. Um, I just assumed it wasn't, but for what I know, I could be wrong. Uh, but the thing that's really, really great about this is is hearing Elvis do a lot of these songs. 
uh, Heartbreak Hotel, all shook up. A fool such as I, I got a woman, love me. Such a night, reconsider, baby. I need your love tonight, that's all right, don't be cruel. One night, are you lonesome tonight? It's now or never. Swing down, sweet chariot, hound dog. Now, again, like hearing all shook up in 1961, it's as close as, you know, to the original that you will ever hear Elvis perform that. And, and to me, that, that's great because by the time the 60s, you know, late 60s and uh, 70s came around when he did All Shook Up, it was a totally different beast than, than what you knew listening to the record. Um, you know, so it, th this is, this is a, an amazing, amazing time capsule. Spoke on too much on that one. All right, the third album. Third album is Collector's Gold from the movie years. Okay, if you say so. This is what they have on there. We have, they remind me too much of you. Okay, that one I don't mind. Tonight is so right for love, that's okay. Follow, I mean, you know, follow that dream I love. Wild in the country, meh. Dayton, meh. Shopping around, meh. Can't help falling in love, classic. Dog's life, come on. Um, falling in love tonight, and thanks to the rolling sea, I'll pass. All right, but again, just to show you, the labels are still the same, and it does have the etching of the autograph. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Okay, and the next album is the TV specials. So we have stuff from the NBC TV special from 68, Aloha from Hawaii, and it looks like Elvis in concert as well. All right. So this one has uh, stuff from those those shows. I'm not going to get into the songs. I'll show them to you really quick. All right. And then... All right, this is another first. This is the Las Vegas years. The thing that was great about this one, I believe it was this one. Or was it... Yeah, no, it's this one. Um... <laughs> This was the first released version of, that I'm aware of, Are You Lonesome Tonight in uh, Vegas, 1969, where Elvis basically lost it and, you know, was laughing through pretty much the whole song. So that was my first exposure to that was on this box set back in the day. Um, yeah, so this is stuff from Vegas, unreleased versions of songs that came to be identified with in-person performances by the King. Poke Salad Annie, You Lost That Love and Feeling, Sweet Caroline, Kentucky Rain, Are You Lonesome Tonight, My Babe, In the Ghetto, An American Trilogy, Little Sister, Get Back, and Yesterday. So there you go. All right. All right. A couple more. All right. And this one is called The Lost Singles. And on here we have I'm Leaving, First Time Ever I Saw Your Face, High Heel Sneakers, Softly As I Leave You. Unchained Melody, Fool, Rags to Riches, It's Only Love, America the Beautiful. There you go. All right, a couple more. A lot of these so much. All right, Elvis at the Piano, and then the Concert Years Part 1. The concert Years Part 1 is Elvis in Concert 75, unreleased. Um, all right, so what do we got here? At the piano, it's still here. I'll take you home again, Kathleen, beyond the reef, and I will be true. All right, and then again, this is from 75 tour. This is the first part, and this is going to continue on to the next album, which is, this is the last one, and this is the concert years concluded. So side one and two of this one are all concert uh, songs from 1975 tour. Hound Dog, Wonder of You, Burning Love, Johnny Be Good, Introductions, Long Live Rock and Roll, Trouble, Why Me Lord, How Great Thou Art, Let Me Be There, An American Trilogy, Funny How Time Slips Away, Little Darling, Mystery Train, Tiger Man, and Can't Help Falling in Love. All right, so there you go. Those are the albums. And then it also came with a nice little booklet. The booklet was cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to really show you everything in it because it kind of folds open. I'm not going to read to you. Sorry. This is not story time. Show and tell. Ah. That's a good picture. Profile. All right, one other one is iconic of him strumming a guitar while he's singing. Good stuff. 
All right. Look at that. Beautiful. There you go. All right, so yeah, you kind of get the gist, man. It's good stuff. So I do believe uh, somebody let me know that this was released on CD as well, eventually. So if you are not able to hunt down the LPs, maybe you can hunt down the CDs. Either way, I don't think this is a very expensive buy at this point. I believe my record store has this. He has a sealed one, though. I think he was asking like $50 for it, so I don't know. Um, but, you know, to be honest, again, I'm, I'm, I haven't really kept up with what these sell for, so I don't know if, that, if that's good or not good, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know what the retail was when this initially came out. I'm going to say it was probably at least like $30, $35 back in 1980, maybe 30 I don't know. I'm not really sure. Anybody remembers back then? Let me know. Leave a comment. All right, but there you go. Elvis Aaron Presley. 25th anniversary limited edition. Limited edition. <laughs> Silver box set. Uh, eight LPs. My opinion, if you're an Elvis fan, definitely worth getting. Either an LP form or a CD form if you're able to get it. Do it, definitely. Some really, really great stuff on here. Uh, yes, granted, a lot of it has been released since. Probably, if not all of it, but still. Um, nice to have the initial release of the official, you know, concerts and, and Vegas, early Vegas in 56 and 61 benefit show and just uh, the laughing version of, of Are You Lonesome Tonight. Again, there was just, there was a lot of firsts that were on this set. So I still take this out. I still listen to it often and enjoy it. So I thought I'd share that with everybody and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you watching. Hope everybody's staying safe. If you would like, you can leave a comment. And as always, good to yourselves, good to each other. Take care.